General Lee. 50 50 tickets. Got Chuck. Oh, you smell that? Beautiful ride. Hello. <laughs> I love the pictures. That's from rest restoration. Yeah. How long did it take? If you don't mind me asking. It was four years. We did a body off. Four years? So, yeah. Did you go right to the frame? Yeah. Oh, right yeah. to the frame? You bet. Oh, Next beautiful. numbers matching. It's all the original. Get out of here, numbers yeah. matching. Numbers matching. Wow. That's why I bought it. Everything original, even like the exhaust, like even well, it's the. It's all back to original, but. Back to original, yeah. That's the original engine. Really? Mm -hmm. Amazing. We have the old. Wheels at home. Yeah, I got the old wheels at home. Amazing. Yeah, thank you so much. How's the gas mileage on this baby? Bad. How's the gas mileage on Terrible. this baby? <laughs> Terrible. I love it. About like 40 liters per hundred? I have less. Because <laughs> I hoop it all the time. Yeah. What do we got here? Elegance with attitude. 1968 Dodge Charger. <laughs> oh, this guy's yours? Yeah. Nice. My son built the car, the model for Oh, wow. And the other son found me the turntable on Amazon. Yeah. So, oh, well, i got to display that at the car shows. Where'd you pick this thing up? Uh, well, it came from California. I got it in Mississauga in the early 90s. Really? Yeah, somebody brought it up from there. And the good old days. Couldn't uh, couldn't keep it for one reason or another. Yeah. Going through a divorce. And so we put it back up for sale. I got five grand back then. This was five grand? Well, Get out of here. It looked like that, though. <laughs> That's, how much money did you put into it? Uh, about another hundred. Another hundred, yeah? <laughs> On top of the five, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what did, did you get all done with it? Yeah, I got it done at uh, National Mopart's up in Beaverton. They, okay. they did the full resto for it. Uh, so it's a full resto? Oh yeah, they yeah. went right from, yeah, we had it all stripped right down. And uh, we've changed, changed a few things, you know, put, put the disc brakes on the front, put the uh, 440 in it, it was a 3.3 car originally. Right. How do you like the 440 compared to the 3.3? Well, uh, it was originally just a two barrel, see it was a, it was a factory air, two barrel, automatic, power brake, power steering car. Yeah, okay. That's how it was shipped to California, but, yeah. uh, but so we, now we've got the tweaked up 440 and uh, I got a I got a three-speed torque flight with a gear vendor overdrive on it 323 shore grip in the nice. back. Nice! <laughs> wow! So it'll, it'll, um, it's got some umph but it'll still cruise nice too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For both the tracks. Com comfortable with the AC on. Have you taken it to the track at all? No, I haven't, haven't yet. I keep planning to but, yeah. but you know one thing another keeps getting in the way. 100%. We're, uh, we're working on it. How much horsepower do you think you're pulling off of this baby? Oh, four and a half, easy. Probably. Four and a half, yeah. At least, yeah, maybe close to five. I don't know. I'd yeah. have to dyno it and get it tweaked a little bit. Oh, that'd be bit. phenomenal. So, yeah. Is that a four barrel in there? Yeah, it's a Holly 750. 750, yeah. big boy. Yeah. It's been mild port polish, competition cam. Yeah. And uh, it's got uh, ceramic headers going through the Flowmaster mufflers. Flowmaster mufflers, eh? Yeah. Three inch, all the way back? Yeah. 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 I put the RT, it's not an RT, but I put the RT uh, tips on the end. Oh, so you up badged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> It's a 340 block, and I, it's original 340, 69. Yeah. And I made it into a 372 stroker. It had to have machine. They don't make push rods for this. So the push rods had to be had to be machined and made by hand, like not hand machines or whatever, you know. And then um, it's roller rockers with solid lifters. So it's a, that's another little machining thing that they had to do. And it's internally balanced. The crank's internally balanced. It's, uh, I got uh, I-beam. I beam forged uh, rods, like uh, connecting rods. How does it perform with track bars on it? Just straight line? It, well, because I put a I put a three seven three Sherlock full locker sure grip full locker rear end in it. Turn a corner, it's just like rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> as it should be, as it should be. <laughs> yeah. So why why'd you pick this guy? I wanted one of these cars since my mom my mom had a '69, and I wanted one since she got rid of hers when I was about ten years old. 
this car is worth a lot more to me than what it's actually worth in money wise. Right. And the paint was exactly what it was. Did you need yeah, bodywork on any, that? No, I haven't done no bodywork at all. I just redid the complete drivetrain. That nice. Yeah. Nice. So the, is it the real one? No, or, it's, uh, it's a replica. It's a replica? Yeah. No, it, it, it looks bang. I thought it was the real one. Exactly. Right? Like real right? Stuff. Exactly, man. Probably the only Yeah. I, I think it's the only so it's the only replica and road legal replica. Right. Oh, yeah. road legal. Uh, I think they, they know that they, they know that it exists. Yeah. Wait, do you have liquor in the wash of fluid? Not yet. Oh, uh, well, I haven't got that far. Well, got that far you, said legal, so you said legal, though. You said legal. Exactly. Yeah. Legal. Okay. <laughs> as long as you live with it. Yeah, right? As long as you live in the car, you can drink and drive, right? Yeah. It's <laughs> <all> yeah. <laughs> phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah. When did you get this thing? When? Yeah. I built this. You built it, eh? So I, I built it uh, last year. Um, but I've, I've had this car for the last like three years. I just really? didn't know what out of the five cars that I bought, I didn't know which one I was gonna sh mobile. And then I just ended up uh, ended up mobiling this one out of all of them. Yeah, no, like bang on, like to the T, <laughs> man. Good you job. Yeah, the, uh, the, the tilted light. Come and have a look at the build sheet from Chrysler for this car. Let's see this. That's worth a picture. <laughs> no. Wow. What? <laughs> That's the build sheet? Yep. Three thousand dollars. Amazing. When was this? Oh, sixty-nine. This yours? Yes. Nice. I got this little girl. Okay. Sixty-nine, eh? You bought this right, right from factory, eh? No, no, that's. Oh, you you found the build sheet. That's the original window sticker they used to have in those days. Where'd you find that? Like the the window sticker. There's a guy in the states that produced it for you based on the. All the information you provide them, and the serial number and all the option codes. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, and he's got all the prices and everything. So okay. You can you can figure out what it originally sold for. Holy guacamole! Jeez. Where'd you get the motor? Uh, the states. No, like, oh, dude, you actually bought it? Like, yeah. or was it you? Cleveland Power Performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go around and buy smash up cars at auction and salvage drive trains. Can we hear it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what exhaust you're running? Black Widow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's hear this baby. Switch direction when I realized how expensive it would be to build a 900 horsepower supercharged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. This was actually much, much cheaper and more drivable. What's what's the tranny like? What's it's a six-speed Tremec. Okay. Oh, sweet. Bought it as a package from Cleveland Power Performance in the states. Nice. What about the rear end? What, what's uh, the... Stock rear end. Okay. Um, with four elevens. I had to splice a 70 drive shaft with a Hellcat drive shaft. Yeah, 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 yeah. Connect, yeah. but yeah. yeah. How much power are you pushing out of this baby? 45 stock on these engines. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, with like the little intake and the exhaust is three inch and dump so just uh, by the rear axle, so I'm hoping that gives it a bit more. Gotcha, yeah. How's the drivability? Is like pretty good? It's, it's for, tight. It's all, um, yeah. it's all custom suspension built by another guy in the States. Nice. For these cars, so it's, it, it handles pretty much like a new one. Yeah, where'd you get this wrap done? A guy in town, I think it's. It's either Redline or Adrenaline on one of the sophomore ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just, yeah, he, he ripped it off pretty quick. Yeah. That's amazing. Especially because I'm around the money. Yeah, yeah. Point, right? Yeah. Have you taken this to the track at all? No. No? It's not quite there yet. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to sort out some rear end stuff with it. Oh, yeah, I bet, yeah. yeah. 